but if you go into silence, you get more time to listen. Yeah, but then you also get much, much more time to become aware of how busy your mind is. That's how you are start listening to yourself. Yes. So they say noise, they can be deafness, and in <laughs> silence they can be hearing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And see, that's again like a different approach. Is one approach would be to say, shut out all the noise. You know, like uh, you, by your will, you try to shut things out. Or another kind of approach would be, which I like more, is let that what is be. But by letting it be, you create space. You know, because you, you and then. The thoughts at some point, you know, it becomes like, yeah, it's, it's like clouds. You watch them and you know, but they're also empty basically. So then things naturally kind of open up. And even if the thoughts come, they're open thoughts. It's as you were saying with the expectations, you know, you don't, you're not imprisoned by them. Let them happen, why not? But when it starts happening, don't immediately cling to it and think it through, you know, and um, this kind of thing. So. You're saying about the external noise. I've seen some students, they concentrate more in their studies when the TV is at the full volume. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all the all external noises are shut off by the, by the thing that they are not paying their att attention to. So, that there are many ways to shut the noise off. So internal as well as external. You see, for me it was a very interesting experience first. Like in, if you enter a Catholic church, especially like our old cathedrals, you know, like 500 years ago, 600 years ago. It's silent. You know, you open, I mean, the whole atmosphere, there is an atmosphere of silence. Then you have these beautiful uh, painted windows, you know, so it's, it's very silent experience, silent and peaceful. So the first time I came to some Hindu temples, you know, it was like, I was like, what? this is a temple? You know, like, uh, you have so much, like, um, no. going on. And um, so yes, you can actually, you can find the stillness, like in stillness, but you can also find stillness in, when there's so much noise, that there's an overload actually, you know, of noise, that actually you, you have to, automatically you kind of center, because it's just like so much overload, you know, that it's, um, and it becomes silent again. So it's, that's the interesting thing also, you know, like how um, sometimes very opposite paths, you know, like may actually lead to very similar experiences.